Hi there, I'm Dr. Leslie Griffiths. I'm one of the family physicians in Timmins. I have been lucky enough to be in this community now for almost 18 years and I do have my own family practice. I also have the privilege of working in our emergency department and also on the medical floor um, doing inpatient care. Recently we've had quite a few questions about the COVID-19 vaccine and its side effects as well as the long-term effects. I can assure you that Health Canada has done rigorous testing in the approval process and is monitoring for any long-term or acute side effects very, very carefully. In Canada, we've given 45 million doses of the COVID vaccine. We've only had 0.02% with any adverse side effects and many of these are very short-lived. Over the past few months, I've had the opportunity to work in the COVID vaccine centre. Over this time, we've given thousands and thousands of doses of the COVID vaccine to people here in our Porcupine Health Unit. They've done really, really well with it. There's been very few adverse side effects and most of these are totally manageable with over-the-counter medications. When we talk about side effects of vaccine, I think it's also important to address long-term effects of the COVID-19 virus itself. Most people do have significant symptoms for up to 14 days, but some people that we call the long haulers end up having permanent long-term effects from the COVID-19 uh, infection. These include shortness of breath, cardiac issues with myocarditis and inflammation, sometimes kidney issues, and also ongoing sleep disturbances and issues with taste and smell. These are all things that we can avoid with the COVID-19 vaccine. Uh, we get that sometimes people are worried about having needles or, or being in a big open public space. We are certainly happy to accommodate anybody that has special needs that wants to have the needle given in private or if they have any other concerns we're happy to help. The vaccine team is willing and able to answer all of your questions and we're looking forward to seeing you at our clinics. Uh, not only as a physician but also as a mother I've seen how tough the past 18 months have been on all of us. I get that self-isolation is super hard, I get that homeschooling is really, really difficult, and I get that having your kids not be able to participate in their sports is also really hard. We've lost control. This is one way that you can get some control back. Please consider getting vaccinated. If you already have, that's great. Thank you. We appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. Please reach out to anyone that you know that has not been vaccinated and is eligible. We are still giving vaccines from the age of 12 and up. We have lots of pop-up clinics, lots of regular scheduled clinics. Please check on the Porcupine Health Unit website and also on their Facebook page to follow. I'm sure a lot of you have many questions about the vaccine. Please feel free to reach out to the Porcupine Health Unit at any time and they can forward your questions to one of our healthcare providers in town. We'd be happy to call you and go over some of your concerns. Thank you. Thank you.